Hi, this is Ron Gannett from Community Church here in beautiful Saddlebrook, Arizona. I don't know if you can tell by, by looking at the picture behind me that uh, summer is right around the corner. And the traveling that we're going to be doing as families probably will take us to some exciting places and some loving people. You know, in the old days, we used to grab an old map and we would unfold it and try to decide where we're going to go, where we're going to stop what kind of eating we'll do. But now we have the wonderful resources of just turning on our iPhone or, and uh, using the GPS or, or using the, uh, the Google system to tell us what to do and where to go. But you know, no matter where you go, I think you're going to experience the wonder of God's creation. Just last week, I was up in Calgary, Alberta with my family there and spent some time in the beautiful Rocky Mountains. And I'll tell you, you just can't sit there and see the Rockies and not think of the wonder of God. I was talking to one of my friends today who just drove back from uh, from the middle of Texas and he went through West Texas and only a Texan can say that West Texas is gorgeous <laughs> but you know as you drive through that no matter where you are in God's creation it's going to be beautiful Susie and I are going to spend July and August up at our cottage in northern Ontario tall trees grass that I have to mow beautiful water swimming and family it's a great time just to soak in the sunset and be reminded that there's a creator, there's a God in heaven. Just here in Saddlebrook the other day, I saw Mama and Papa Quail crossing the street with eight or nine little baby urchins behind them. God's creation, God is involved, He cares for us. And you know, I think as you go through the summer months, wherever your travels take you, I want you to sense and celebrate the wonder of summer. Psalm 19 says, The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. The psalmist is saying that you can look at the stars at night, you can see the wonder of God's creation, and it reveals the very person of God himself. In fact, the Apostle Paul clarifies that in Romans chapter 1, where, where he says very simply, he says, For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities... His eternal power and His divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that men, women, boys and girls are without excuse, because God has revealed Himself through the wonder of His creation. You know, God has given us all of this creation, to draw our hearts, our minds, our attention, our love back to the one who made us and the one who loves us. You know, you probably will be seeing relatives or friends that maybe don't appreciate God as much as you do. Why don't you take this summer and express the wonder of his creation that you see and allow that to capture their imagination about knowing more about God or even recognizing his, his accountability for them in their lives. And I promise you that if you talk about God's creation, what you can learn about Him by what you see, by what He has made, it'll open up opportunities, conversations, where you can tell them fuller revelation found in God's Word, fuller revelation found in the very person of Jesus Christ. You know, the keystone of all this creation it's not a cloud, it's not a mountain, it's not a forest or a lake. The keystone of it all is people like you and like me. And God created you. People often ask me, do I really count in God's scheme? Does He really care about me? You know, I tell them whenever Susie and I wanted to have children, that first one especially, we planned like crazy. We tried hard to get pregnant and have a baby. And when that little boy came into the world, he received all the love and care and devotion that we had for that baby because we so wanted him, we planned him. And my friends, the Father in heaven created you.
The Father in heaven has made you for a specific purpose. And the more you fulfill that purpose in your life, the more you will see all the creation make greater sense. It reveals how much his love is for you. My friends, let's go on our vacations and trips this summer. Let's celebrate the God of heaven by appreciating what he has made and the difference it can make in our lives and in the lives of those we love.